Good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook. How y'all doing this morning? Hope y'all having a great morning so far. It's Friday. We have made it to the last day of the work week, right? For some of us. So, um, got an inbox about a young lady saying that she just wants to give up. She done with this religion thing. She's done with christianity and she's just she's over it all right so first let me just tell you sis thank you so much for reaching out i appreciate you that's awesome that you thought to reach out so guess what there's still hope so let me talk to you so for all you that's like oh my gosh how's she gonna be done with god pump your brakes sweetie you done been there before too so no judgment zone over here um, we all, you know, I'm not going to say we all, I want to speak for me. I've given up before. I've, I've, I've done it before. May not have just completely walked away, but I've, I've, I've been there before, given up. And, um, so some people don't understand that, you know, life is hard sometimes. And you just wondering, like you, you sitting here literally doing all that you know to do. Everything that you know that you should be doing according to the word of God and, it don't seem like you're progressing, right? Right, sis? So, it seems like everything, everybody else is just going forward in life, but you're just sitting still. You're even going backwards, feel like, I get it. I definitely get it. So, you know, some people always say, oh, I would never give up on God. But that promise that he promised you, you gave up on that, didn't you? Yeah. That thing that he put on the inside of you and told you that you will be one day, you gave up on that. Yeah. So be careful. You know, we got to be careful of how we act like we would never do something. So, um, was going through a season in my life, right? This me being honest, right? Of how I didn't giving up on a promise. Um, I can't even say I'm all the way out that season, right? So still going through. A season in my life where, it, you know, marriage just does not, mm -mm. it really don't seem realistic to me. It don't seem like something that's going to happen for me. I ain't, I basically given up, right? But see, I know what God promised me when it comes to the man that I'm supposed to be married to. I know exactly what it is. I know exactly who he is spiritually. I know, I, I, I've I seen him in the spiritual realm, but see, Satan will make you think like, oh, you're getting kind of old now, like, you know, you're not going to get that one that um, you think you're supposed to get, so um, just give up and stop trying to be available for people, you know, and all they're going to do is uh, whoever you get with is going to disappoint you again, they're going to break your heart again, all of that. See, that's me giving up on the promises of God, right? Because, see, God has already shown me who he is spiritually. So, I get it. I get it. So, you know, in that time, in that season of you giving up, you know, just just seek God even more. That's the only advice I got at this point. Seek God even more. Go before God and just... Be honest. Be honest. See, so many times we try to sugarcoat things when we're talking to God when he already know. Oh, Lord, I believe in you. Oh, I, I, I'm I, trusting you. And uh, it, it, Come on now. Be real. It's so many times I don't went to God like, yo, um, this thing right here, I ain't, I'm not doing good with. And I'm struggling and I'm, I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. I'm broken. And I'm honest. And... You know, I'm crying and everything and just asking God to just restore. You know, it's in the Bible where the man was saying, you know, God, I believe, but help my unbelief. That's real. That's real. So be real with God about what it is that you are um, seeking him for, what it is that you need from him. Be real with him and stay in his presence. See, the thing is, we're going to talk to him about what we need and then just leave. You got to stay in his presence in order for him to mend that thing that you need him to mend. Right? So, um, 
Don't give up on him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep trusting him. Keep believing him. Because see, Satan wants you to give up. He wants you to stop believing in God. He wants you to go to that other religion where they say it's a higher being that they cannot identify. That's what he wants. That's what Satan wants. He wants more people for him that don't even know that they're working for him. So, don't give up, sis. Keep, keep pushing. Keep moving forward. Just know that God got you. It looks bad now, and it looks like nothing is going right now, but this season doesn't last forever. And you know, with God, all things work out for your good. It may look like it ain't working right now, but it is. And see, your test becomes a testimony for someone else to pull through later. Right? So, you know, and another thing, you know, people... Say they're giving up on God, but what you're really doing is giving up on people. And that's what you have to do. Because people will deceive you and make you think that God is someone he is not. Do not judge God by people. Alright? So a lot of people give up on God because of church hurt. Things that's happened by church folks. God can't be measured by that. He shouldn't be measured by that. He will not be measured by that. He is, he is God. He sits high and looks low. He sees it all. He sees all these people misrepresenting him. He sees it. Don't hold him to the same standard that you hold an individual. We all fall short of his glory daily. So don't expect God. Don't expect people to be God is what I'm saying. So, when you trust in God, believe in God, seek in God, and all you have is God, that's all you need, all right? So, sis, don't give up on God, girl. <laughs> I'm glad you reached out to me. You got my number. Call me. Let's talk about that thing. Let's, let's, let's really talk, talk about some things, you know? You didn't go into too much detail, but I hope this video helped. Understand that God still got you guys. Promises still hold true. God is a God that can never lie. He ain't got it in him. He don't lie. So what he said to you is true. It will come to pass if you just keep believing. Keep trusting. Keep seeking. All right. Saturday, November the 9th. My God, guys. We're going to talk about everything in these videos before we get to Saturday, November the 9th. Y'all, it's really blowing up my inbox. I appreciate it, though. I'm so glad that y'all trust me to talk to y'all. It's so amazing. But I still want y'all to come back. Come on Saturday, November the 9th to talk about these things more. Because, see, I be trying to make these videos short. And, you know, I could go on and on about some things that I done experienced in my life. And I will go into it on Saturday, November the 9th from 2 to 4 about some things that I've experienced and been through. So come on out. All you nosy people that want to know. No, I'm just kidding. But no, come on out so that we can learn from each other. Mr. Bennett, he's going to go through a whole bunch of stuff too. He, he got a lot of stuff that he can teach y'all. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. Y'all come on out and <sighs> let's encourage each other. All right. Don't give up, sis. It's going to be okay. Keep pushing. Call me. I'm always available. Always. Always available to encourage somebody. All right. Come on, somebody. Encourage somebody today. Good God. All right, y'all. I got to get out of here. Remember, God loves you. So do I. Mwah.